What was it like being so close to her again? At the time, comforting maybe. I'd visited her before by myself. Ryan would have a really hard time going down there, but it had been a whole year. It seemed like the right idea. But it wasn't? I'm not here to talk about my daughter. I admit, I was surprised when I saw your name in my appointments. What's troubling you now, Carol? Something is wrong with my husband. Something is very, very wrong with Ryan. What happened after you visited her grave, Carol? He showed up at her house a week later. Hey, I'm home. Hey. Hey. How did it go? I'm cautiously optimistic. It was the standard you'll hear from us in a week routine. But they liked your portfolio? They feel I understand the aesthetic importance of an independent, homegrown, artisan, nonprofit coffee house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got a package. It's here? Already? What the hell is that? This is EVP. EVP? Electronic Voice Phenomena. I'm afraid I'm not familiar, Carol. An EVP device supposedly opens up a channel of communication that others cannot. It allows the user to communicate with the dead. Ryan, dead people. You hit record. You ask a question. Wait a minute, play it back, and someone responds. My sister had a Ouija board when we were younger. We used to freak ourselves out until grandma took it away. This isn't some board game, Carol. This is real, proven science. Experts swear up and down about this type of thing. Who is it that you want to talk to? Your husband wanted to talk to your daughter, didn't he? How did that make you feel? It sounded crazy and desperate. But maybe it was what he needed. Visiting her in the cemetery brought it all back for us. It was hard. He needed to grieve again. And you remember how bad it was with him when it was all first happening. I could never get him to come down here with me. You didn't protest him using the device? No. I'm his wife. I should support him. He must have known inside how crazy it all sounded, but, but his pain was my pain and I wasn't going to laugh at him. Did a part of you believe him? Believe that he could talk to your daughter? I never actually thought it would work. He would try, be let down, toss it back in the box. But that isn't what happened, is it? No.
there anyone there? Susie, it's me. It's your father. I miss you very much. Please, let me know if you could hear me. Lot, I'm still here. Oh, hey. Oh, what time is it? You never came to bed. It's morning already. Shoot, I must have worked through the night. I have to go meet a client. You'll make sure you get something to eat, okay? I love you. Love you too. It worked, Carol. I heard her voice. She's here. That's great, Brian. She's okay. Our baby is okay. See you later, okay? She wants to talk to you, too. Your husband actually wanted to share the device with you. Beginning. That's what he said. She wants to talk to you, too. But you didn't take up the offer. No, of course not. It hurt bad enough already. But, you know, I made my peace. Things were finally returning to how they used to be. And he was asking to open my wounds back up. And how? By talking to ghosts? Do you believe in an afterlife, Carol? I don't know. When it all first happened, it used to comfort me. I was raised Baptist, but I grew up a little. Started seeing things for what they really were. She was taken from us, and that's part of somebody else's plan. I'm just supposed to accept that. But the idea of her being far away and happy, people wouldn't want that for somebody they loved. Belief in heaven is typically selfish. I mean, people spend their whole lives striving to earn a comfortable death. But you wanted what was best for her, just as you did when she was alive. But you seem to have changed your mind. I don't know what Ryan thought he was hearing. I don't know if there was anything at all. But if there is an afterlife, it's not filled with good people. If there's something on the other end of that device, that thing is not my daughter. It made him stop eating. He would leave the house for long periods of time. He'd always blame it on work. But I knew he hadn't been to work for three weeks. He no longer had a job. What you watching? He stopped coming to bed. that your husband's having an affair? God, I wish. I can make sense of that. I don't know where he could have been going, but he must have forgot that he was supposed to be at work because eventually he left his briefcase and his computer. 
And so finally, I could hear whatever it was that he was hearing. Oh my god. What the hell are you doing? Ryan. What is this? Why are you listening to this? Ryan, we need to talk. No! What did you hear? Gives you the right! Something is very wrong, Ryan! You don't trust me? You don't respect my privacy? All day! I bust my ass out there! Just to come home and find you going through my stuff! You don't you were fired! Stop lying to me! What are you? I don't know what's going on with you anymore. I don't know, I don't know what you think is going on, but Brian, I heard your voice. It's just your voice. Those things you were saying- This is bullshit! <laughs> Fuck you! What? You're scared of me? David. Don't look at me like that! Don't! <laughs> Carol, what did you hear? It was awful. It didn't even sound like him anymore. He said, he said he was almost ready. He said he couldn't wait to see her again. He said he was going to, to ascend. What do you think he meant by that? I don't know. And you only heard his voice. You're asking me whether I can hear my dead fucking daughter? No! No, it was just him! It's not my intention to upset you. I spent last night in a hotel. I couldn't bring myself to come home to him. Where is the device now? Where he could never get to it again. Now, here I am. You were there when I lost her. Now I'm losing him. All that, and I'm the one in therapy. Isn't that some shit? Will you go home tonight? Do you think he'll actually hurt you? I don't know. How could I have predicted any of this? How could I even try to guess what he'll do next? You've denied an addict his vice. He may not behave rationally after that. But I'm his wife. <laughs> it's my home and she was my daughter too. He has no right to take that from me. He can't claim that all for himself. Do you still love Ryan? How can you love something that you're afraid of? So you must make an ultimatum. 
it's me or it.